Hi, kindergarten. I have some pretend binoculars here. Um, they are made out of cardboard tubes and you can have an adult at home staple two of them together so that you can look through your binoculars when you go bird watching. You can color them with marker and you can have an adult, if you have string at home, you can have an adult um, help you tie on some yarn or string so that you can wear them around your neck. They're not real binoculars, of course. They don't have the special lens or the special glass that's needed so that you can see birds up close, but they're a very important reminder that when you're outside looking for anything in nature, you want to be quiet and respectful because if you are quiet, you'll also see probably lots of really cool things. All right, let's read about birds outdoors. Where do you find birds? Birds fly in the sky. They sit on tree branches. I see a little chickadee on a branch and I see some a flock um, of Canadian geese flying in the sky. They sit on power lines and fences. Can you find a bird outdoors? I'm sure you can and you probably have already. Here's my favorite bird, the Eastern Bluebird. I love them, I think they're so beautiful. And here is a flock of birds. We can't really tell what they are. My guess is that they might be a kind of bird called a starling. They travel in big flocks and they make a lot of noise and you see them in places like this and they're all black and they're not too big. So you might wanna look for those when you're bird watching. Birds are animals. Where do birds find food to eat and water to drink? Birds need air and shelter too. So here's an owl with little baby owls. Um, I think they're called owlets. And then here is an eagle and it looks like he caught a fish or something like that in the water. Owls and eagles are what we call birds of prey. They have special feet that called talons that allow them to grab that food. And then I see a seagull up here on this rock and you do find them near the sea, but sometimes you see them around uh, garbage because they kind of look around there for snacks and things they might want to eat too. Birds have feathers and wings. What else do you see? So in the other video, we talked about what made a bird a bird. So we can see this beautiful hummingbird's feathers. We also can see its lovely wings that beat super, super fast. And I see a nice long beak. And I'm wondering, why does the hummingbird have this nice long beak here, but this owl on the other page has a tiny short beak? Why do you think that is? Some birds have a beak to get food. Some birds eat fish. Other birds eat worms or insects. So have you heard of the expression, the early bird gets the worm? It's pretty cool, huh? And what does it mean? Talk to someone at home. We've probably seen lots of robins around where you live, but have you looked at a robin looking for worms? If they're really neat to watch, if you're still, you can watch them in your yard and where there's maybe some stirred up soil, the robin will be listening for worms. It will cock its head to the side and listen for worms. And here is a picture of a loon Looks like he's eating a small fish. Some birds eat plants and seeds. What else do birds eat? So these are some beautiful birds that you might see at your bird feeder. Of course, we are very familiar with the cardinal. And then this bird in the grass eating a berry is called a beautiful bird that I love. And it's a rare treat to see. It's called a cedar waxwing. And they have that black mask and um, at the tips of the feathers, they're uh, yellow. They're just beautiful birds. 
Birds build nests for shelter. Female birds lay eggs in a nest. What will hatch from the eggs? I think you guys already know the answer to that and you know that those beautiful blue eggs are robin eggs. And up high you see the eagle in his nest and you see a yellow songbird in his nest on the left. I'm not sure what kind of bird that is, although I'm usually pretty familiar with my backyard birds. I would guess it's a bird, might be a female yellow throat. There's also fem uh, goldfinches, so she could be a goldfinch. And I, it looks like she's keeping her eggs warm. Look at the shapes and colors of these birds. Look at their feathers, eyes, and beaks. So I see an owl with his eyes at the, in the front of his head. Then I see some different kinds of birds. I see the blue jay, the beautiful blue bird that, that we see a lot in our backyard, a blue jay that says thief, thief, thief. That's his call. There he is. He has a crest like a cardinal on the top of his head. And then we see this other bird down here. I'm not exactly sure um, what kind of bird that is. Um, and I love this guy. He's re a really neat bird. It's called a um, kingfisher. Those are really neat birds. You see them around ponds. You can see that he has a sharp beak for fishing, but he's actually pretty small. So they're not only beautiful, but kind of tough little guys. Now, look at that beautiful owl. Why do you think that owl has eyes in the front of his head, but the blue jay, his, he has an eye on one side and an eye on the other side. That's not like our, our heads at all, right? Our eyes are like the owl, they're in the front. You know why? Well, the owl is a predator bird. He is looking for mice, little rodents to eat. And so his eyes are, are on the front and he cannot, um, he only can look one direction, okay? And he's looking forward and he doesn't turn his head like a, spare, a little songbird does, like the blue jay does. He just makes those quick movements looking for food. And just like we often do with Mama Echo, she can turn her head all the way around, okay? Not completely around, just like that. That's kind of cool and special, and it helps them with their hunting. But the blue jay and the cardinal, they have eyes that allow them to see in two different ways. That can help them if they're looking for predators that might sneak up on them. How are these birds the same? How are they different? Okay, it looks like another... Um, a few, uh, Oriole, those are really beautiful birds. Pigeons, of course, you see them in cities. And a little brown bird that might be some sort of sparrow. I'm not totally sure. How are they the same? How are they different? Hmm. Well, we know they're all birds, and we know now what makes a bird a bird, right? But what makes them different? Well, a pigeon looks like a much bigger bird, doesn't he? And they're all different colors. I see the Oriole is that beautiful bright orange. And um, the pigeon seems to like just walking on the ground, but I'm thinking this small little brown bird likes to go to bird feeders and eat seeds. I do know something special about Orioles. If you put an orange out, an orange that's cut in half at your bird feeder, you might attract an Oriole. Okay, friends, I love talking to you about birds. 
I hope you enjoy looking for birds around with your pretend binoculars. Happy birding!